What's going on everybody? My name is Jack and uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to become a successful freelancer in 2018. Yes, now this is not going to be uh, a specific freelance type. It's just going to be vague and um, kind of general information and general tips that I've picked up uh, over the past year that I've been a freelancer and um, pretty much just giving out tips to any kind of freelancer who wants to become more successful and make this their full-time job. First off, the very, very basic tip I'm going to give out there, right? This is to my ADHD viewers right here who might not even watch even uh, half of this video, you know what I mean? I just want to make sure this first tip at least gives some sort of value to you, even if you're one of those ADHD viewers who's going to click off my video right after this point. So the first and most important point is freelance websites. If you're a freelancer and you uh, have somehow not actually utilized these websites yet and, um, well, then you're pretty much just lost. I can't even lie. You need to go over to these websites. I made a video uh, two days ago or a day ago or something like that talking and discussing uh, Upwork and uh, kind of solving a problem that a lot of people were having over there. Uh, despite the problem, I would suggest Upwork. That is the number one freelancer marketplace on the internet. Hands down the best website that I've used for bringing in clients and uh, overall that website in particular generates a lot of money for people um, and definitely the best and most user friendly freelance website. But if you are uh, claiming to be a freelancer or at least if you're watching this video and you're trying to become a freelancer, that is the number one tip that I would give is uh, utilize and just look into these freelance websites. Personally, I've picked up huge amounts of clients through these websites and uh, they've probably been my most uh, helpful kind of um, online method of bringing in new clients and actually earning money from what I enjoy doing, which is just actually editing videos. All my ADHD viewers, uh, if you've left by now, that's all cool. If you're still here, this next, this next tip, also very, very important and it follows on from the freelance website tip, right? And that is uh, to go for long-term gigs. Now, at first, you won't really have the liberty, I suppose, to uh, be super picky, I guess, with the different gigs. Of course, everyone wants a longer-term gig. That means more money. But overall, when you're actually looking on particularly these freelance websites, but uh, if you use any other met methods for bringing in clients, still apply this to those methods. And that is that the one-off gigs are okay. Of course, you're not going to um, reject a one-off gig because it's still more money in your pocket at the end of the day, and it's still another sample um, for your portfolio at the end of the day. But the, uh, the the really the way to become a successful freelancer and the way to make this your actual full-time job is to focus on um, making those clients recurring clients. So. Currently, right now, I uh, have just moved into a brand new office and everything like that. Check out my office vlog. But all of this is possible because of uh, recurring clients. I actually haven't even had uh, much of a need to go over to the freelance websites in months now because I went so hard on the freelance websites about six months ago and built myself up a clientele of uh, people who now are just on my email or on my Skype and come back to me. Um, some of them every single day to actually get more videos made for them and uh, just more money in my pocket. So through just kind of focusing on the longer term clients, I've now built um, essentially uh, just like I said, a clientele of people who are constantly coming back to me for more work, which as a result of which has created a consistent and steady income, which is basically the most important thing if you're trying to be a uh, quote unquote successful uh, freelancer. Okay, so the third and I believe final tip, but we'll see where my thought process goes to after this. I only plan out like a random kind of couple talking points and just kind of see where I go with these videos. But um, the third point is definitely going to be to uh, find a variety of ways to bring in new clients. Um, although I've just talked and promoted freelance websites extremely heavily, and believe me, they are amazing. They are easily my number one source of new clients and number one source of um, money coming in 100%, even if I haven't even used them too much in the past couple months. Um, but I would definitely advise a couple different methods of bringing in clients. For example, I have my in work, which is um, what I would call all my clients um, that I've collected through these freelance websites. 
Um, and that is just a, like I said, a clientele of people on my Skype and on my email who constantly give me work throughout uh, the day. And that is, like I said, my in work, AKA in my office doing my work. Then I've got my other type of um, freelance video production, which is my out work. And for that type of work, I go and document events, right? That's something I really enjoy doing. And uh, you, I basically just go either to clubs or to day parties or to uh, really anything that wants to bring us out and give us the right amount of money. And I go there and pretty much film and create an after movie of that particular event. So that is a very creative video type that I thought of making and um, simply reach out to people through Facebook in my area because of course the freelance websites are better for um, online work where you may never even meet the client or never even have to talk to them uh, on the phone or any Anything like that um, and it's just more anonymous I suppose then there is my outwork like I just said where yes I'm hitting people up through Facebook and um, actually trying to set up a, a, a film shoot with them and overall that is just another method that I bring more work in and it's not all tied to the freelance websites which is my other source of income so it's kind of like two split methods that I use but I would definitely suggest having at least two kind of methods. So if one of them is maybe starting to dry up a little bit, that other one can take its place for a little bit longer until that other method maybe starts generating the same amount of money it was before. But overall, having your chickens in this, uh, having your eggs in the same basket rather, yeah, that's, that's the saying, is never a good idea. Of course you want to diversify, get uh, many different sources of income, especially if you figured out your type of freelancing that you want to do, then it's very, very easy to just go all out and uh, hit the internet, hit your, your local, anything like that, and find a variety of different um, ways to actually generate new clients. But if you follow these three simple methods, guys, I think you will definitely be on your way to becoming a successful freelancer. And if you already are a quote unquote successful freelancer, uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you bring in your work tell me how well you're doing and uh, overall thanks for watching the video guys i've been jack have a nice day and see you in the next one Bye.